Welcome to the Global Focus Review Channel. The quest for the origins of the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas is an intriguing puzzle that has posed a challenge to historians and archaeologists for many centuries. These native peoples are highly fascinating. Have you ever come across the Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas? They are pre-American civilizations with unique cultures and ancient customs that trace back thousands of years. The Mayans, Aztecs, and Incas form a captivating collection of societies. While most scientific and historical evidence suggests that pre-Columbian America was the birthplace of these civilizations, this video aims to present diverse perspectives on their origins. By exploring biblical narratives and genetic evidence, we will delve into the stories, legends, and research that have fueled this ongoing discussion. Our goal is to establish potential connections between Mesoamerican cultures and ancient accounts found in the Bible. Be sure to watch another video in our series. The Bible provides information about the origins of people. According to the Bible, the Mayan people are an ethnic and linguistic group that originated in Mesoamerica. The ancient Mayan civilization consisted mostly of members from this ethnic group, and their descendants still reside in the region, which encompasses southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, and Honduras. The term Maya is a modern collective term for the people in this region, although historically, they did not use this term themselves due to the lack of a unified political identity. Instead, there were various populations, societies, and indigenous ethnic groups, each with their own cultural traditions and historical identities. It is estimated that around 7 million Mayans inhabited Mesoamerica at the beginning of the 21st century, with significant populations in Guatemala, southern Mexico, the Yucatan Peninsula, El Salvador, and western Honduras. The Mayans have managed to preserve their rich cultural heritage, with some integrating into the mixed race cultures of their respective nations, while others maintain more traditional and distinct lifestyles, often using one of the Mayan languages as their primary language. The largest contemporary Mayan populations are found in Guatemala and the western parts of Honduras and El Salvador. Additionally, there are sizable Mayan communities in the Mexican states of Yucatan, Quintana Roo, Tabasco, and Chiapas. On the other hand, the Aztecs were a Mesoamerican culture that thrived in central Mexico during the post-classic period from 1300s to 1521. The Aztec people consisted of diverse ethnic groups from central Mexico, particularly those who spoke the Nahuatl language. They exerted dominance over vast areas of Mesoamerica between the 14th and 15th centuries. Aztec culture was structured into independent city-states. Each city-state, known as Autopetl in the Nahuatl language, functioned as an autonomous unit of government within Aztec society. These city-states were typically led by a Tlatuani, which was the title given to the leaders, and each had its own social, economic, and political structure. Examples of Aztec city-states during that time include Tenochtitlan, which served as the capital of the Aztec Empire, and Tlatelolco, a city-state located in what is now Mexico City. It stood as one of the most remarkable and awe-inspiring cities in pre-Columbian Mesoamerica and played a significant role in Aztec history. The city's establishment in 1325 AD was carried out by the Aztecs, a group who migrated from northern Mexico and settled in the region. They chose the site based on spotting an eagle perched on a cactus, which held divine symbolism in Aztec mythology, indicating the city's founding. At its zenith, Tenochtitlan had a population of 200,000 to 300,000, making it one of the largest cities worldwide during that era. Around the 14th century, another city called Tlatelolco was founded, not long after Tenochtitlan's establishment. Initially an independent city, it later formed an alliance with Tenochtitlan and Texcoco to create the Aztec Triple Alliance. Tlatelolco was situated on an island in Lake Texcoco, close to Tenochtitlan, with a canal separating the two cities. However, they were considered closely connected for practical purposes. 
Tatloko had its own temples and religious sites dedicated to Aztec gods, sharing cultural and religious aspects with Tenochtitlan while retaining its unique cultural identity. The Aztec Empire, established in 1427, comprised three primary city-states, Tenochtitlan, Texcoco, and Tlacopan, also known as Tlacopan. The term Aztec is often used narrowly to refer to the Mexica people of Tenochtitlan, but is also broadly applied to various communities and peoples of central Mexico during the pre-Hispanic era and the Spanish colonial period from 1521 to 1821. By 1519, the Aztec Empire had reached its territorial peak, shortly before the arrival of a small group of Spanish conquistadors led by Hearn Courts. Courts gained allies among the enemy city-states of the Mexica, particularly Tlaxcala and other political organizations, including Tlaxcala, which was once an ally of the Mexica in the Triple Alliance. After the fall of Tenochtitlan on August 13, 1521, and the capture of Emperor Cuauhtémoc, the Spanish established Mexico City on the ruins of the ancient Aztec capital. From there, they continued the process of conquest and assimilation of Mesoamerican peoples into the Spanish Empire. The downfall of the Aztec Empire in 1521 resulted in the Spanish gaining control over the native populations by utilizing the local nobles of the city-states. These nobles pledged their allegiance to the Spanish monarchy and, to some extent, embraced Christianity in return for recognition as nobles by the Spanish. The nobles acted as intermediaries, collecting tribute and organizing labor on behalf of their new rulers, thus aiding the establishment of Spanish colonial rule. The Inca Empire, known as Tontinsu in their language Quita, was the largest empire in pre-Columbian America. The city of Cusco served as the administrative, political, and military hub of this expansive empire. The Inca civilization originated in the highlands of Peru in the early 13th century and was eventually conquered by the Spanish in 1572. Between 1438 and 1533, the Incas successfully incorporated a significant portion of Western South America, primarily focusing on the Andes Mountains. Their methods included both conquest and peaceful assimilation. At its height, the Inca Empire encompassed territories that now correspond to Peru, western Ecuador, western and central southern Bolivia, northwestern Argentina, and a significant part of present-day Chile and southwestern Colombia. It was comparable to the historical empires of Eurasia. The official language of the Inca Empire was Keta, which was also the language spoken by the Incas themselves. Although various local forms of worship persisted within the empire, Inca leaders promoted the worship of Inti, the sun deity, and consolidated their influence over other cults, such as the cult of Pachamama. The Incas regarded their king, the Sapa Inca, as the son of the sun, emphasizing the importance of Inti in their religion. The Inca Empire differed from old world civilizations in many ways, despite not utilizing the wheel, draft animals, iron or steel, or even a writing system. The Incas managed to construct one of the greatest imperial states in human history, as noted by anthropologist Gordon Incan. Notable features of the Inca Empire included its impressive architecture, particularly stone construction, an extensive network of roads connecting all parts of the empire, sophisticated textiles, the use of knotted ropes called keo for recording and communication, advancements in agriculture, effective imperial organization and management, and the absence of currency or traditional markets. Instead, the exchange of goods and services was based on reciprocity among individuals, groups, and Inca rulers. Taxes took the form of mandatory labor for the empire, and Inca rulers, who theoretically owned all means of production, reciprocated by providing access to land, goods, and hosting celebratory feasts with food and drink for their subjects. The ancient civilizations of the Mayan, Aztec and Inca peoples are captivating and engrossing. Many find these indigenous cultures mysterious. Sacred texts suggest that both people from Asia and indigenous groups share a connection with Asians who migrated to the Americas. They are often considered descendants of Tama, one of Noah's grandsons. 
Tama is believed to be the ancestor of Mongolian and Asian populations. Genetic studies also indicate that indigenous people have Asian roots, implying their origin in Asia and subsequent migration to the Americas. Some argue that there might have been intermingling with African populations in the earliest stages of humanity, which could account for variations in skin tone. However, most individuals still possess straight hair and slanted eyes. It is noteworthy that the descendants of Japheth, including Asians and indigenous peoples, are the most numerous. However, they are specifically the descendants of Japheth's grandson, Tama. Genetic research suggests that all Native American people have their origins in Asia. This aligns with the notion that Tama played a significant role in their ancestry. I hope you found this exploration of the Mayan, Aztec, and Inca people's origins and historical characteristics, as well as their biblical and genetic connections to Asia, informative. It demonstrates that indigenous people did not originate in the Americas, but migrated from Asia. The Inca, Aztec, and more were among these peoples. If you have any suggestions for other ethnic groups whose origins you're curious about, please let us know. We value your feedback and use it to create more videos for our series. If you're new to our series, you can find a playlist on your end screen containing videos about other peoples we've covered. Thank you for following us, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.